In this lesson, we're doing some work on multiples. Multiples of a number are found by multiplying that number by another whole number. All right, that's an important definition there. Let's look at some examples to see how it all works. We need to write the first 10 multiples of 3. Now, it's very much like times tables. If you know your times tables well, the multiples will be easy. 3 is our first multiple of 3. Okay, 3 times 1 is 3. Then 3 times 2 is 6. That's our next one. The next one is 9. So we're going up by 3s. Then 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. Okay, that's the tenth multiple of 3. Okay, and think about it. 3 tens are 30. There is a connection there. The first 10 multiples of 3. They're done. Write the first seven multiples of eight. So we go through our eight times tables. Eight ones are eight. Eight twos are 16. Eight threes are 24. Eight fours are 32. Eight fives are 40. Eight sixes are 48. And eight sevens are 56. All right, we stop there because we only wanted the first seven multiples. What is the twelfth multiple of five? Right, there's a, a long way to do this and a short way, okay? I'm going to show you the long way, but then after that, from then on, we're going to do things the short way, the easy way. Multiples of five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. The first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. Okay, so we got there. The twelfth multiple of five, we can see then, is going to be sixty. So let's write that down. Okay, now that's the long way of doing things. What about the short way? Well, the twelfth multiple of five, all we need to think about is twelve times five. And 12 times 5, of course, is equal to 60. So that's the quick way of doing things. What is the eighth multiple of 9? Well, let's do it the quick way. Eighth multiple of 9, we're going to be thinking 8 times 9. And 8 times 9, of course, equals 72. So we can then say that the eighth multiple of 9 is 72. Now here we have a, a group of numbers, and it says from the numbers below circle all the multiples of 4. All the multiples of 4. Well, let's look at each one, one at a time. 8. Now the way I think about it is, does 4 go into 8? Well, yes it does. So it would be a multiple of 4, okay? 8 is a multiple of 4. 45. Does 4 go into 45? No. Does 4 go into 18? No. See how important it is to know your times tables. Does 4 go into 21? No. Does 4 go into 24? Well, yes, it does. It goes in six times. So that is a multiple of 4 then. Does 4 go into 33? No. Into 36? Yes, it does. Does 4 go into 39? No. Into 25? No. Does 4 go into 9? No, it doesn't. Does 4 go into 4? Well, yes, it does. So we circle that. Does 4 go into 13? No. Does 4 go into 48? Yes, it does 12 times. So it will be a multiple. And finally, does 4 go into 3? No way.